position. Uh, okay. Mexican joke. He says, uh, did you ever hear the horse about the white horse with the silver saddle? I'm like, no, I don't think I ever heard a joke like that. He says, well, I tell you the, 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 the story of the white horse with the silver saddle. Okay, there's this one time the, there's this Mexican, he's walking down the road, you know, he kind of cold, you know, and, 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 and uh, it starts to rain, and, and he had no food, and he hungry, and, you know, he had no place to stay, you know, he, he lost, you know. And so when he looked over in the field there, he see a, a, a guy riding by with a white horse with a silver saddle. And he goes, oh, I wish someday I could have me a white horse with a silver saddle. Uh, and the guy comes up and they go, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Yeah. And the, the, the cowboy says to the Mexican, he goes, hey, he says, are you looking for work? Oh, yeah, me hungry, yeah, me looking for work, yeah, me, me need a place to stay, too. He goes, well, I'll tell you what, you come with me to my farm up here on the hill here, and uh, I, can, I, I can get some work for you, some food, and maybe you get you a, a place to sleep in the barn. He goes, oh, I'll be very happy, I'll be very happy, yes, sir, you know. Me, me, me work hard. Me good hard worker. He goes, he says, okay, he says, uh, you, you come follow me, you know. So the Mexican, you know, he, he follows the, the farmer up to the house, you know, he gets to the house and, you know, he takes him in the barn and says, well, he says, this is where you'll be sleeping, you know, and he says, oh, that's a nice place to sleep, yeah, thank you, thank you very much, you know. And he says, well, I, what I need you to do is, uh, it's like, you know, Kind of clean up the barn a little bit and pile that hay and and, and then uh, maybe later on we'll, we'll get vittles cooking, you know. He goes, oh, thank you so much, you know. So the, the, the Mexican, he, you know, he's busting his ass. He's cleaning up the barn real good. And he's stacking up the hay real nice. And then and the farmer comes back in and he goes, oh, you did a real good job, real good. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that hay keeps falling over, and I, I get tired of you know, my bag, you know, I get tired of restacking it. But you come along just in time. He says, okay, I want you to come into the house. We're going to have supper. And then it, and when the Mexican walks in the house, the farmer, he's got these three daughters, you know. Like, he says, oh, I forgot to tell you I got three daughters, you know. And he's like, you know, this is, you know, this is the oldest one, the middle one, and this is the youngest one, you know. So the oldest one was like, you know, maybe 25, and the other one was like 22, and the other one was like 19, you know. They were just a couple of years apart, and they like very pretty, you know, very nice girls, you know. And um, he says, well, let's all sit down at the table, say grace, and have dinner, you know. So the Mexican, oh, me so happy, I'm me so happy, I mean, feel... Very thankful, very thankful. 
So is, is, it, is it just you and your three daughters? He goes, yeah, my wife passed away a couple of years ago, so we're, we're just what we got right here, and that's it. You know, he's like, oh, this is a very nice family, very nice. Sorry to hear about your wife, you know. And so they have dinner and that, you know. And then, then, and then uh, he says, the Mexican goes, oh, I'm getting kind of tired, you know. He's like, I'm going to go to the barn now and, and get ready to go to sleep. And uh, the partner says, well, okay, I'll see you bright and early in the morning, you know. And I uh, have some more chores for you to do. And, and the Mexican goes, okay, okay, good night, good night, good night, good night, you know. And he goes into the barn, you know. And he, and he makes his bed and that, and he goes to sleep, whatever. Kind of like in the middle of the night, you know, the Mexican wakes up and goes, Oh, oh, I'm hungry. I'm so hungry that that food stretched up my stomach. <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, I got to eat some more food. Maybe I'll go in the house and make a sandwich, you know. So he goes in the house and he's making a sandwich, you know. And then, then the oldest daughter, you know, she comes down and she goes, Oh, it's you, it's you. Oh, it's okay. She says, I'm kind of hungry myself. You know, I thought I'd make a sandwich. Oh, he's like, oh, hey, maybe I, I'll make a sandwich for you. And she's just like, okay. And, and then he says, so uh, you you got a boyfriend? He goes, oh, no. We're not allowed to date. We're, we're, we're all virgins. And the Mexican's like, you, you, all three of you are virgins? Well, yeah, we're, you know, we're a very peaceful family and we keep to ourselves. And I'm like, oh, okay. You know, and he's like, man, man, I tell you, I, I, I wish I had a woman like you because I never had a virgin. And she goes, you never had a virgin? And he's like, oh, no, I never had a virgin. Uh, I, I haven't been with a woman in a long time. And he's like, she says, well, maybe uh, if you don't tell my father, you know, maybe we can uh, go to the barn later and, you know, maybe have some sex. Uh, you know, oh, he like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me, you, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so they eat their sandwiches and they go in the bar and they have sex. And then he says, okay, I'll see you later. And then she leaves and she's back in the house. So later on that night, it was a long night. <laughs> it was a long night. So later on, you know, the Mexican wakes up and like, oh, man, that sandwich made me hungry. Oh, you know, I'm going to go and make another sandwich. That sandwich was good. You know, he's rubbing his belly and he goes in the house. He's making the sandwich again. And then, and then, um, he's trying to make, not, not make no noise, not wake nobody up, y'all. And, and then all of a sudden the light comes on. He goes, oh, hey, how you doing? Now it's the middle daughter, you know, so it's the middle daughter. And she goes, oh, what are you doing? And he goes, oh, I'm just making a sandwich. She goes, okay, try not to make much noise because my father's sleeping and he doesn't like to get stirb, disturbed in the middle of the night. He goes, oh, no, I'll be very quiet, you know. And then he goes, hey, uh, you got a boyfriend? She's like, no, no, we're not allowed to have boyfriends, and we're all virgins. He's like, man, I wish I had me a virgin. I wish I had me a woman. And he's like, you know, I make her really happy. And she says, oh, really? And she's like, you know, how can you make this woman happy? He's like, well, if you come with me in a barn, I'll show you how I can make you very happy. <laughs> and then and the girl goes, well, okay, but just don't tell my father. Okay, okay, so they... He eats a sandwich and he takes her into the barn and he has sex with her. And then when he's done, you know, he tells her, okay, good night. I got to go sleep now. I'm getting very tired. Oh, so tired, you know. So then uh, she goes inside. He falls asleep. And then again, you know, he wakes up, you know, in the middle of the night. You know, like I said, it was a whole long night, you know. And then he wakes up in the middle of the night and he goes, oh, man, I'm, I'm getting thirsty from all these sandwiches. Maybe I'll go in there and have a glass of milk, you know. It's like, you know, okay. I'm going to go in the house, I'm going to go and have a glass of milk, you know. And maybe some of them cookies, some of them cookies look good, you know. So he goes in the house, he's trying to be real quiet in that, and, and then um, he goes into the bathroom, and he uses the bathroom, and then then he, and then all of a sudden he hears little footsteps, you know, little footsteps, you know, he's like, oh shit, I'm going to get in trouble, you know. And then uh, he's a little knock at the door, you know, and he opens the door and he goes, hey, I'm using the bathroom. She goes, oh, you're, you're the helper. Oh, okay, I, I thought we was being robbed. You, oh, I would never rob you you people. You very nice people. You know, and she's like, well, she's uh, she's like looking down at him, and uh, he, you know, was taking a pee, you know, and like, she looks down, she goes, ooh, I never had that. I'm a virgin, you know, and it's like, 
Oh, you you never had sex? And she says, no, I never liked to have sex, but I would sure like to have sex with you. <laughs> and the Mexican's like, well, hey, if you want, you know. But she goes, but please don't tell my father. He'd get very upset because... You know, he don't want us having sex and he wants to keep us like virgins, you know. He's, oh, trust me, I won't never tell your father. And so he takes her in the house, you know, and then out of the barn, you know, and he, he has sex with her, you know. He's just a young one, you know. She's like 19, you know. So, uh, and then uh, he's done with her, you know, and he tells her, okay, good night, good night, you know. So early in the morning, right? Early in the morning. Okay, now it's morning time. Yeah, yeah, it's morning time. So, you know, the... The father comes out of the house early in the morning and he sees all three daughters standing there waving like this. Bye, bye. And he, see, he sees the, the Mexican riding up with the white horse with the silver saddle. And he goes, hey, hey, come back with my white horse and silver saddle. And he goes, hola, le, hola, le. No, this is my le. And the youngest daughter goes up to the father and he goes, oh, looks like he fucked you too. YouTube, go kiss, subscribe. <laughs> See you later. Tomorrow will be another one. Like this?